Okay, how about we do something a little bit more interesting and fun with these objects that we pick up. So, what I did is I went to here, cgtrader.com, and you look up flashlight free, and I downloaded this free flashlight here. Now, you gotta sign up for an account, but it's free, and then you can download it free. And then, after you do that, make sure to get the FBX version. You can come here and put, click Dock and Layout. So that after you come here, you can take your FBX and drag it in here. And then go ahead and click import all. Now, the default material whoops, is going to just be this ugly thing here. I hate the autosave, Jesus. Ugh. Anyways, moving on. I be sure to download the uh, textures for Unreal Engine 4. Unzip those. And we'll import those. Save all. Now I'm going to come back out here and I'm going to take these both here. And I'm going to rename this Flashlight. And I need to make this better. So we have this torch. First off, click on this here. Uh, you know what? I don't even need that. Go away. Grab this. This, this, this. Drag them all up here. Okay. And let's go ahead and just uh, spread these out. Okay, so this was the base. That goes there. Uh, let's see here. Emissive. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think. Well, I'll just wait. I think we'll just go like that. Okay. And this is the normal, which, if I remember right, is just like this one. And then this is the roughness, which is a zero to one again, if I remember right. There we go. And that should be our flashlight material. Uh, let's see how it's looking. Uh, okay. That looks right. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back out here and I'm just going to duplicate this and rename it Flashlight. And then let's open it. Open up the full editor. Change it. Change that view. Go 
come back out here, grab our static mesh, and bam, and there we go. Now we have our second pickup item here, a flashlight. I'm going to rotate it like that. I'm going to slow down the camera. Now doesn't that look great? Now let's make it actually work and do something. Go back in here. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a, excuse me, a spotlight. Slow down my camera here. And we need to adjust this spotlight here. Let me see here. Anyways, we're trying to adjust this spotlight like that. And now if I come on here, we have a flashlight. And it's on. And just for the heck of it, whoops. Uh, let's see here. We got this skylight. Let's put this down. And... Let's see, where's our sun? I think this is the one that moves the sun. No? Let me see here. Uh, I can't figure out how to do this. Oh, here we go. It's going to cheat and go like this. Make it really dark. So now we get a flashlight and it's on, but what if I want the flashlight off? Let's close this. So while we're holding an object, there's a function that lets us use it while we press the trigger button. So you go event on use. So now when we press the trigger button while holding this object, we'll be able to do something. And so let's take this light. <coughs> and I can set the intensity to zero. Actually, let's do 
a flip-flop. So the first time I press this, it's going to change the light intensity to zero. And the second time I press it, I need to change it back to 5,000. Or actually, yeah, that'll be 5,000. Well, actually, let's, let's, let's crank it up to like 10. So let's put that at 10. And put that at 10. So it should be in a really, there we go, it's a nice and bright flashlight. And let's test this out. It's it on here. Ooh, it's a little darker than I expected it to be. That's fine though. Let's get to that flashlight because it's dark in here. Uh, I should be able to pick up the flashlight. Uh-oh, I'm getting stuck. Uh, let's see here. Oop, I have to be not holding an object in order to change. And there we go. I can press the button and the light turns off. Turns back on. Off. On. Off. On. Off. On. On. Whee! Okay. Uh, I guess that's going to be it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next video.